Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I'm on Peroxide, and this is going to be the first of my hopefully new series where I will show you everything in the game. So, right now, as you can see, that move right there is one of Oasis moves. So, I'll be showing you the Oasis Shrift and Vol Standing. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so and really helps me out. Let's get straight into the video. So let's just take out my bow, and this is the transformation into the shrift. And I got the special weapon that is a gun, so I'm using that right now. And I think it's awesome, I love the gun. Pew. Anyway, Oasis has four moves, including the Vol Standing move. The first one is Aqua Mirage, where you shoot an arrow made of Lost Tides, which upon contact creates Oasis Elementals that follow an enemy then bursting when close enough to the target. So this, I think, is a ridiculously good move, but given that it's a legendary and a Quincy legendary at that, I reckon it deserves to be this good. So this is how you use it. On contact with something, it explodes and makes all these little guys that run up to them. And as soon as they get close enough, they like burst and explode on contact. Also stunning the person. So you can just use that and they chase after them like forever until they can get hit or get blocked. And there we go. They also do decent damage. Bear in mind that every single Oasis move scales off of spirit. So that's why I am using 300 spirit. The next move is Rainmaker. Imbues yourself with lost tides creating a sensation of circular momentum then go forth rendering anything standing in front of you in a flurry of tides Now this you spin around and then after a while you slam into the ground which block breaks. I Put a Icor gem. I think it is on it So Icor heals me for about 30% of the damage, which is ridiculously good considering this move does a lot of damage so I'll just show it to you on this guy over here you won't mind there we go oh I missed the slam but there we go you can also up tilt into it and when you use it in the air you don't move around like you would on the ground so here we go oh for some reason I did move around that must have been a bug the next move is Rising Cascade. As you can see, I just used it there. It's a combo extender, which brings you up and, uh, well, does a fair bit of damage as well. I reckon it's a very nice combo extender. It says, wrap your blade in Lost Tides and swing upwards, creating an unstoppable current, rising anything in its path, including you. So here we go, I'll show you one, two, three, four, you use it, and it brings the opponent up with you, and I'm going to use the second move, Rainmaker, and there we go, that's the full thing in the air. Now as you can see, it absolutely shreds this guy. He must either be low level or something, but I don't know. It does a lot of damage on him. Actually, I don't think he's low level, because earlier I saw him use the Chaos Saguna move. So those are all the three Shikai moves, and let's move on to the Vol Standing. I've only beaten the Oasis boss twice because it's really hard to do, so uh, my Vol Standing doesn't last very long, but this is the move. I forgot the name of the move, but it's kind of like a domain expansion thingy. Open the floodgates of the hidden paradise upon the battlefield, creating a water park of mass eradication. Here we go, here's the Vol Standing transformation. Right now. There we go. This is the move. You smash the ground and everyone inside gets stuck and it damages everyone, stunning everyone. And you get three passives as well. It's like amazing. So, the first passage is immunity to fire. The second one is when you're in your floodgates, which is this thing. Uh, and you do the lock parry thing, it's a combo extender. So, if he were to hit me... Oh, never mind. It ran out. If he were to hit me and then I do the block and then press R and that counters him, 
it would take him up and it's a combo extender like that. And the third passive is that you jump around and it boosts you forward a little, which is very <laughs> handy, especially when you want to get somewhere fast. And keep in mind that this move right here has complete hyper armor. So you can use it in the middle of someone's combo and they can't do anything about it. Also, here's the jumping around, as you can see, it launches me forward, and it's got like a two second cooldown. Alright, so there we go. I just use that on him. One, two, three, and then I spin around a little. Do it again. Combo extend. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, Oasis is ridiculously good. There we go, that is Oasis. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.